Hey guys, finally back with another video for you today. Today's video I'm going to show you how to back up your music off your iPod, iPad, iPhone, back to your computer. Say if your hard drive's died or your computer's carked it, you can back up all your music back to your computer. Now as people may know that iTunes doesn't let your iDevices do this, so you have to use a different program to back up all your music and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So you're going to make sure your iPod or your iDevice is sunk to iTunes, you're going to minimize this. You're going to go open up a program called Copy Trans. I'll have the link down below, direct link. And you want to open this. Now, it's going to ask you to close iTunes to start Copy Trans. You want to do that, yes? And now just wait for it to load. It's going to recognize your iDevice. And then it's got all your music here. All your music. That's on your iPod. Now you can sort this out by your artist, by your album, any way you want, or you can just back up the entire thing by clicking up here. Now in my previous video I've done on this, when I ran you through this tutorial, the program only lets you back up 100 songs. This is the new version of software that I've got for you now, and it'll let you back up as many as you want. So just to prove this, I'm going to do over back up over 100 songs. So selected 208 songs here. So obviously the more songs you select, the longer it's going to take to back up. So once you've selected your songs, you can either back it up straight to iTunes or back up to a folder on your computer to have saved copies of them. So I like to back up to a folder. So I've set my destination as my D drive. You can go into Customize here. You can set it to Advance. So if you know what you're doing, you can use the Advance option or you can do your Basic. And this is just telling you that your advanced options will be lost, so yes. So your basic option is going to make a music folder, then it's going to make artist folders, then it's going to make album folders, and then put your music in them. So it's going to sort it all out for you. So I like to have mine set out like that. And then all you're going to do is start back up. So this is going to take oh, a little bit, probably three minutes or so, so I'm going to cut the video here and come back when it's done. So as you see here now that it is almost finished backing up, so it's going to take a few more seconds. So in total, this is taking about three and a half minutes to back up 208 songs, so that's pretty alright speed. That's backing up almost one and a half gig. So obviously, the more songs you back up, the longer it's going to take. So once I'm finished, that's it for that. If you're done backing up, you can back up your playlist as well if you like. But once you're done backing up, you can press eject your iPod. That's ejected. And you can now go to your folder where you have backed this up. So my music folder I've created. It has created all the album artists for me. So they've made the artist folders. You go in. It's made the um, album. So the name of the album for me. It's put the music in there. So it's it's organized the, all, music, all the music for me. So it's a really good program to use. It's free. I'll have the download link down below and download it and I hope this helped you out with your problems. So I'll catch you in the next video and I'll see you next time.